In this video, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of navel piercings. So by the title of the video, you would have seen that I called it pros and cons of the belly button piercing. However, I obviously, as a piercer, do call it a navel piercing, but I just thought I'd put that in the title so that more people would understand what it is. A lot of people do call it a belly button piercing. So yeah, that's what a navel piercing is, and that's what I'm going to be talking about. We'll start with the pros. So one obvious pro is that it's hidden like you don't have to show it unless you're like in your bikinis or like you're at the beach or you're naked or something like that so obviously it's not going to be shown unless you want it to be shown it's not going to affect your jobs it's not going to affect anything like that um in fact your parents might not even know that it's there if you get it without them knowing there's so much jewelry that you can purchase for them there's just things that dangle, there's all different shapes, colours, sizes. You can colour coordinate them with like what you're wearing. Where I work we even sell ones that have like long feathers coming out of them which personally I would never wear but it's, it's one that like you could only ever wear for like a night or something like you couldn't wear that constantly because the feather would just get like manky as and disgusting so there's ones that like have like these chains that go the whole way around um, your like back of your stomach so you're around to your back that could be used for like belly dancing and that sort of thing as well they look very flattering on most people they add just like a little bit of glitteriness like prettiness to your very I guess plain stomach most stomachs look pretty boring guys and girls can get it there's no like only girls can get it. Obviously, it's not a super common piercing for guys to get. I know a guy who's like super masculine and he has one that looks really cool on him. So like, if you want to do it, just do it. Who cares? Like, you just have to have the confidence to rock it. You can get top, bottom and the sides. Like, you could get the whole way. Like, put a picture. And then you can get jewelry that fits in all of the piercings. I personally have had the top and bottom done. Another pro, and this is only for some people, is that it doesn't hurt. A lot of people that I pierce will say that like they'll be freaking out and then it's just like nothing. And they're just like, oh, is that it? That's fine, whatever. A lot of people, doesn't even hurt them. Another pro is that if you are pregnant, you can still keep your navel piercing. You just have to get a longer bar, which is generally a PTFE bar. So it's like a bioplast, like plastic, like clear plastic bar. And you just get that made up to the size that you are. Normally, if you just like come to a piercer, they can do it for you, size it up, and then that way you've got enough room to grow. And also with these ones, you don't necessarily just have to wear like clear balls on it. You can put your coloured balls or whatever you want to put on it as well because it just threads onto this plastic. Now into cons. One of the main cons of navel piercings is that they have a really high rejection rate. So basically because they're a surface piercing, a lot of surface piercings have high rejection, but these ones... I, I couldn't tell you how many, like, I mean, even personally, mine have grown out many, many times and I just keep getting it done, don't know why. Um, I stopped now. But, yeah, and the amount that I've seen that, you know, you can see them growing out or you can see that they're, like, they are starting to reject, it just, it's just a part of getting surface piercing. It's a foreign object and it's at the surface of your skin that your body just wants to push out because that's what your body's made to do. It's not definitely going to happen for you. Like there are some people who've had their navel pierced for 10 plus years and it's not going anywhere. You'll probably know within like a few years, if not even in like the first years that it's going to reject because you'll see the skin getting thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and then you're just gonna have to take it out eventually because it gets pretty dangerous like with a thin bit of skin like that it's gonna rip out. Another con though is that you do have to be careful like whether it's at work or lifting things or whatever you're doing that even if it's completely healed and you have no problem with the re rejection is ripping it though as well on things because sometimes you forget it's there and you know, bumping it on things or getting it caught on something can still happen because it's it's in a spot where, you know, you sort of rest things when you're carrying them on that area. They take a long time to heal. It's not an easy healing piercing. Basically, generally, the earliest it could heal would be three months, but that's like super early. That's generally the earliest you can change the piercing. 
but generally you're looking at 6 to 12 months, more on the 12 months side of things for it to completely heal. Another con with your healing is that you can't swim for a few weeks while it's healing. So getting it done, a lot of people like want to have it for summer to like show it off, but you kind of want to get it done before then. You have that first like two weeks that you can't go swimming. However, if it's still not doing very well after the two weeks, it's not a good idea to start swimming because you know, it's it hasn't got to a point that it's healed enough to be exposed to that sort of like those sort of germs and bacteria. So really, yeah, you need to think about when you want to get it done, unless you're not going to be going swimming. Yeah. If it does reject, the scarring sucks. Like, it's not pretty. It, it doesn't look nice. It's probably one of the, I guess, uglier um, piercing scars. Although it's hidden, so that's fine. It's just kind of, it's just not pretty. It's a 14 gauge needle and piece of jewelry. So you're taking a bigger chunk of your skin out and this is going to have to be closed over with a bigger scar than like say something in your ears. So yeah, the scarring isn't that nice. If it does get infected, say right at the beginning or even down the line, I have seen some people who've had them for a long time and it's just acted up. It is hard to get them back to good pretty much. But basically in that, when it's first healing, if it gets quite infected, yeah, it's gonna be really hard. They're just a hard one to to get healed if it's having a lot of trouble with infection and that sort of thing. Most of the time you're going to have to take it out. It just, if it's not, if you've tried everything and it's been like the year and it hasn't healed, it may be your body just rejecting it pretty much and you may not be able to get it healed and it's better to take it out than to just live with an infection and possibly cause yourself more sickness. People have gotten sick from keeping an infection in their body like you don't want to do that the last con is that it does hurt <laughs> so i said that it doesn't hurt in the pros which is some people 100 percent doesn't hurt at all and then other people so 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 painful so it's like one that's on two levels some people it just doesn't hurt some people it hurts like a biatch those are my pros and cons of the navel piercing or belly button piercing i hope you enjoyed it Give me a comment down below, let me know what other piercings you'd like to see some videos about. Like the video and subscribe and I hope to see you watching some more and leaving me some comments. I love to talk to you. Okay, bye!